Welcome to the Solar Twin Inside Solar Twin demonstration. I'm going to take you through how a solar panel works, a very simple one, one with a rubber panel, one with a photovoltaic pump powered by solar electricity. And we're going to look at the inside of the electric side, then we're going to look at the inside of the plumbing side, and then we're going to look at some wacky ideas. Solar Twin is called Solar Twin because it's made of photovoltaics as well as solar hot water. So this is the, the electric panel. It's a 5 watt, 12 volt thing. There's a rating plate on the back. I've already started taking it apart. You can actually scrape at the various different layers and um, you, can f you can actually identify the, the silicon chunks inside, each of which is a fraction of one volt and they're, they're wired in series to make the electricity terminal at the back. You can just smash it and bend it and you'll do quite nice things. The interesting thing about um, silicon is that it's, you know, it's sand. Sand is what's used for the front of this, the glass. It's also used for the little grey electric photovoltaic bits inside. It's also used for the, the pipes that we'll look at later, which actually carry the, uh, the solar twin water through. Um, rubber stuff. Silicon's much more popularly used, perhaps, for uh, breast implants. The second thing you can do is you can actually take apart the pump. I'm taking off the back. There it is. pump has three bits. Motor, crankcase, and the, the pump head, which is this bit on here, which has got little holes for the water to go in and out. Bypass valve on a spring there. That um, allows the pump to work if things are frozen. And um, inside, and various valves, and inside that, if you can just get this thing off, there we are, you can see the diaphragm. Now, if I twiddle around on the crankcase and imagine I'm actually moving the motor, it um, waggles up the diaphragm up and down. Can you see it moving slightly? That's what pumps the water. So this whizzes around when the sun shines, and we can have a look at that later when we wind up. That's the pump. Next bit is to actually move to the plumbing. Solar Twin is a completely different solar panel from everybody else's. It is polymer based. These are the standards that have been written international and European for solar, for solar heating are out of date for this reason. But it's got rubber pipes and um, they're stretchy. And you can put water through them. And it's a food grade product so you can you know, drink your tea out of it if you want to. Like that. Why stretchy pipes? Well apart from the fact that it makes it easy to install you can also put water in here instead of antifreeze, which means the panel can freeze without cracking, because the inside of the panel's got silicone rubber in it as well. And this is the Solar Twin panel. This is a mini one. The normal size is about the size of a uh, double bed, um, but fairly thin. It's glazed with polycarbonate, and it's got insulation on the back. There's your corner, it's been laser cut, and there's what's inside. The light comes in through the top, goes through the glazing, double glazing. Double glazing means you can stay very hot in winter. If you had single glazing, the panel would cool down more. Then it goes through an air gap of about an inch, and then it lands on a black painted piece of aluminium. You've got insulation on the side or, and on the back all the way up, and that's obviously to stop heat getting out, because a solar panel is a bit like a car parked in the sun. If you park it in the sun, it gets hot. If you double glaze the roof, it gets hot, even hotter still. You insulate the back and the sides, it'll get hotter still. You paint it black inside, it gets even hotter still. You put pipes inside to take the heat out in the form of water, pump it using a solar electric pump. Eureka, there's your solar panel.